Welcome to the Corey Brennan Show. I'm Corey Brennan. Welcome back to another week of hilarious <laughs> civil trials and criminal trials of fucking uh, 17 year olds oh, killing people. It's fuck awesome. That piece of shit. Uh, I'm Corey Brennan, <laughs> of course. Wrestling. To the left of me is uh, JB, Jay the world Bizzle. honey badger. Uh, he's had some drinks. You don't care. So. Fuck. Fuck you. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and to my right is uh, this is my buddy Trey Latrell. Welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, man. Thanks Trey's for having me over, bro. Trey. And actually, thanks for having me fucking in Pittsburgh, period. Yeah, bro. so, um, yeah, you're here from Salt Lake. From that's a you really white. You went from a white whites. place. You were from a really white place to a <laughs> to pretty slight, white place. To a pretty white place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like home. But me and Trey, we know each other because we grew up in uh, Florida, and then when I was up here, you guys would come up here for the summers, which was dope. Mm-hmm. Um, life changing. Life changing. Life changing. Oh, bro, Shit. come on! I was stuck in Florida. That's true. I learned to snowboard in Summer Springs, bro. Oh, my I mean, God, come on! Now. I forgot about that. See? Yeah. Shit. Truly. That's monumental. That's monumental. That's big shit. You really busted your ass a lot that first day. Yep, of I sure did. Of yep. course. Mm-hmm. And now you're in one of the snowboard meccas. Yeah, and still busting my ass. <laughs> still <laughs> busting his ass. <laughs> Can't seem to get it. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> this is why people sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and you know, dude, you're the first guest on the Corey Brennan show. Oh. Yeah, man. Shit. Yeah. shit hey, man. It's a pleasure. Honor. All right, yeah, bet. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, of course. I feel it. Um, glad you're here. So, dude, tell me how, like, because we, you live in Fort Myers in Florida. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. so tell me what being in Salt Lake City is like now. What being in Salt Lake? I mean, I've been there a year now, so maybe not the most well <laughs> well defined. A but year's enough time. A year's enough time. Point, yeah. um, it's weird. It's different, man. I mean, it's a culture shock for sure. Every every time everybody asks you, like, oh, you're from Florida? <gasps> What are you doing yeah, here? Exactly. <laughs> That's the first question I'm having. <laughs> everything. I was like, why are you here? It's like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> a lot of white people. It's a lot of white people. Lot but of white you people. know what? It's gorgeous, bro. There's no place. Like, you can drive within 20 minutes and be in some place that looks like a totally different world. Yeah. But um, a whole lot of fucking kids that answer the door, and I don't know where their parents are. Yeah, oh, never, because I, there's 18 wives in each house. It, yeah, and there. Well, no, because there's like 20 children at every house. I was going to ask you, like, how do you we know don't that? have <laughs> enough. Oh, I work. I go like in my work. I have to go door to door. So like, I, well, not door to door, but like, I we have appointments. I go up to people's houses to work Makes in their sense. house. So you know, like a kid will answer the door who's like 14. He's like, "Hey, what's up? You here for the oven?" I'm like, "Uh, yeah, yeah, sure yeah. I'm here. I mean, but can I come in?" He's like, "Yeah, not right this way." I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? This motherfucker okay. pays the mortgage. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's cool. I'm just over here paying bills. I'm like, oh my God, this is the most jaded 14-year-old I've ever met. I got, hard, I got whole work due Thursday. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> they taking care of themselves, bro? They can't watch all them kids? Come on now. Shit. I know, but there's, there should be like 10 mothers in the house. Like, is it? Okay. Some of them, but the that's whole, it's not as common anymore. The whole Mormon oh. thing. Is it really that Mormon out there? It is definitely that Mormon out there. It's that Mormon. Oh, yeah. Like, I definitely went to a house and a lady. I went to one house one time and there was... A lady of the house. I don't know what to call her anymore. Lady, house. <laughs> wife, lady number three. The- <laughs> wife number three. I come back out. I was like, oh, we can't go in that. You know, it's going to be someone over 18 in the house. Room. I'm like, can we go back in the house? Uh, or is your mom home? Which one? <laughs> 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 which one? Who has more, which one? She said, Who which has one? more seniority? Uh, he looks like, oh, uh, yeah. Which one do you want? Uh, the one that was here last time that I was here? I don't know, bro. Like, let me in the fucking house. So this kid was calling all the ladies. All of her mom. mom. All of her mom, bro. Jeez. That's like George Foreman of his kids. This is my kids. George, 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 and George. George, 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 third, George, fourth. Good yeah. God, motherfucker. And George Think Gina. of a different name. This is mom, 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 and mommy. <laughs> I could have sworn I had. Mom, I saw a mom. table of Mormons at fucking get go right. in Cranberry just praying. Just right. Praying. To their fourteen-year-old savior, I have no fucking, fucking Joe. Is his name Joe Smith? Joseph Smith. Yeah, Joseph I don't know Smith, that much yeah. about him yet, but yeah, That's he's a, a real thing. He's a thing. Yeah, he wrote a book. He wrote the Book of Mormon when he was fourteen years old. Oh wow! And they're like, "We're rocking with him." <laughs> you know what? This is like, the guy. I like it. <laughs> yeah. We should turn our entire this life the around. Guy. Listen, the fact that a guy named Jesus lived thousands of years ago and died and then went to heaven. That's unbelievable. But this 14-year-old kid, I'm going to live my entire life based on what he thinks. Like, well, this just makes so much more sense. You know, like, he's here now. Jesus isn't. Yeah. He knows what we're going through. No, Jesus doesn't. Religion, <laughs> there, was no, there was no electricity Jesus back does. then. Religion needs to be some old shit. If your religion's some new shit, it's like if you're, if the, if the savior. Like if your religion was, uh, has like a, 
It started on like a Google Facebook page. Yeah, it's too soon. It's too yeah. soon. If your yeah. Lawrence Way knows what soon. football yeah. is, way too soon. If, if your if your Jesus knows football, it's too <laughs> new. You need you need some old shit. You, you need, need handball shit. or fucking yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like we put they played soccer with like Catch human ball. heads or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If your leading document makes any references to Walmart. <laughs> or the Bermuda yeah. Triangle, <laughs> yeah, like it's just too new. It's too new. I'm sorry. Way too new. You Wait, might be in a cult. <laughs> when did when, when did Joe Smith write that? <laughs> hey Ryan, can you look up whenever uh, Joe Smith wrote the Book of Mormon? Because I think it was like the 1800s. Like I don't think it was super long ago. No, it was. It was like, like he knew what the it was like the beginning. Were. Like yeah. early 1800s. He, he knew who the Steelers were. Yeah, the Steelers were in the 18, uh, late 1800s. Wasn't Wait, really? It? Oh, no, no, late 1933. 1800s. I was going to say, but the Pirates huh? 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 were in the 1800s. Tell me more about this uh, American <laughs> Wait, Revolution what? football team. No, oh, you know who was Pitt? Pitt football. Well, you know the Boston um, Tea Party was were actually at. Let's see. He wrote the Book of Mormon. What's it say? Oh, 1830. March 1830 by right, Joseph so Smith. So we had light bulbs already. Right? Yeah, we had. Yeah, dude, okay. if oh, no, your no, no, guy is writing your I'm book sorry. that you read by, didn't. by light bulb. Wait, when was light bulb? No, it was a candle. No, it was like the 1900s. Yeah. It's oh, definitely, okay. definitely a candle. Definitely yeah. a candle. But you know, but like Scientology, that's even newer. Like that guy was alive when I was alive. That's, that's true. That's true. Oh, L. Ron Hubbard or whatever? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Like that, Scientology and Mormonism to me, like they kind of like are like close. I feel like it's, it's that, I mean, that's starting to lose credibility, isn't it? Scientology? Yeah. Well, well I Tom think... King, you got Tom Cruise jumping on couches. That, that, that is the only person I can think of who come from Scientology. When you no, get to, bro. Um, what's her name? Um, the bitch that was on King of Hills? Yes. Yeah, King, King, exactly. King of Hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lear Mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you, you knew where I was going. <laughs> and uh, who's the guy that he... he uh, he gets like naked massages uh, by men. Oh, John Travolta. Yeah, that's right. John Travolta. <laughs> all, like he's done so much work. Wait, what is and the, I what is the naked massage? Yeah, yeah, that he got. Caught. That's all you know. Have references by. <laughs> he got caught getting whacked off by a male masseuse. Jeez, Travolta. Did? Yeah, God that's like the male it, icon. It wiped all the. It, Damn, it, it, Pulp Fiction. That. See ya. Holy You're now shit. identified by the There's guy. There's so who got many a fucking Scientology sons of bitches. What is going on with you people? Yeah, it's big in entertainment. Fuck it, hey. Oh, let's see. Uh, Tom Cruise. John Dang, Travolta, John Travolta, Travolta too? Katie Holmes, yep. Jeez. Kirstie Alley, Juliette Lewis. A lot of white people. Lo- uh, of course. Jenna, so Evans. what do you think? Happened. Jason <laughs> Lee, Earl. <laughs> Jason Lee from uh, what's Earl? That? That My Earl name show? is Earl. My name is Earl. That was a funny ass name. Erica Christensen, Kelly Preston. Oh, Erica she Christensen. Is she, she the, the is Erica Christensen the, um, is that the Irish chick from Sons of Anarchy? Oh, I think, oh, come on, come on. I think so. Oh, Christopher Masterson. He was in um, Even Stevens, wasn't he? Oh no, uh, was, he? was he? I have no idea. Look up, look up Christopher Masterson. Oh, I asked about. Um, I, I don't think he was. He was. He was. Um, Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm. Uh, Malcolm in the yeah, Middle. All right, same guy. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. the older brother. brother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. he's a dick, bro. <laughs> Could you imagine he's giving your life <laughs> to Scientology and you pay all this money to get up in the levels, and the highest you ever get was the older brother and Malcolm in the Middle? Jeez, <laughs> like, the like, I know lead role. Hey, the guy, older brother. didn't work out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, when's the Tom Cruise movie start? You're like, eh. <laughs> listen, Chris. Older brother, Tom Cruise is spearheading that shit. He, that's his shit. That's his. So like, why don't you lose a couple feet? <laughs> like yeah, that dude's short <laughs> as fuck. That guy, he's like, he's like five two, isn't he? Something yeah, like he's that. He, no, he's not five two. I think he's like five six or something like that. Oh, really? Whatever. Wow. Might as well be five, five seven. Five that's seven. That's all. That's yeah. all me. That's all me. Yeah, he's a weird dude, man. Like when he laughs, it's like robotic. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <just> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like engage laughter, loading sound, <laughs> loading sound, hollow cue. Well, Zuckerberg's the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Engage laughter. That guy's crazy as shit. Yes, humans, I will laugh now. Ha 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 ha. You know, they believe that uh, there was an alien that came to Earth and they, like, it went into a volcano and died. Jeez. And then all the evil spirits from the evil aliens, they go into people. Are you serious? And that's why we do bad things. So whenever they clear levels, they call it going clear. I like had an alien, evil alien so, inside me one time. <laughs> <laughs> so clearing it's levels. Does that, name Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so clearing levels. Do you have to add? Do you have to like pay the money to clear the levels? Or yeah, yeah. So it's like oh, course, uh, you want to get to you want to get a level five. It's gonna be uh, forty thousand dollars, and <laughs> you have to go sense. and you have to tell us all the bad shit you do. Is that okay? it? And you'll go clear, and you will clear those uh, evil alien things from out of you. Makes sense. And then so once you get to a certain level, where you're like 
top 1% of Scientologists, you find out this this alien, like, you don't find this out until, like, you're hundreds of millions, like, you're millions of dollars wow. invested. And that there's this guy named Zeno. And Zeno's the Zeno. bad guy. I heard of Zeno. Yeah. He's the what? He's, He's the bad, the bad guy. guy. I thought oh, he was the good alien. guy. Oh. I thought he was the god. Wait, Zeno's the good guy? Who cares? I, I don't fucking know. Um, Who gives a fuck about it? believe in aliens like that Who somehow, too. It's shit. like... They wear you the ship, the ship outfits. They're they're fucking <laughs> the terrible. ship outfits. <laughs> yeah, like the, the, the admiral, the like, metallic gold. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're all the <laughs> the sea, the sea. What is it? Men? Sea captain? No, oh. sea man. <laughs> there's sea a lot man? of that going on sea too. Man? Yeah, there's a lot of that. <laughs> sea man. That's how you get to level four. Dude, right. where's my sea man? <laughs> Dude, where's my sea man? That's, that's what. That's what it's but it's like I can see if you get tricked by like. Islam or Hinduism. It's like, that's some old shit. Like a lot of that's people some, have been believing yeah, that shit. That's ancient. That's real shit. But if you get if you're if you get tricked by a guy named Ron <laughs> Ron Ronald. Yeah, fuck Ronald. Up. Like Jesus can name could never be Ron. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, we're praying <laughs> to name Jim. It sounds real. Like it doesn't real sound biblical. as regal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's it's like, doesn't work. <laughs> no. Wait, so you're telling me that he can do what? Forgive my sins and let me live forever? What's his name? Ron. It's Ron. Yeah. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna as give in me- McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. different, different Ron. Different Ron. Different but Ron. equally as powerful. <laughs> he's gonna give me everlasting life in a paradise. Yeah. What's his name? Ron. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. 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 James. <laughs> his name. Oh wow! Wow! Wait! Wait! What? <laughs> okay, nice. Man, that's crazy. How, like how insult? Like how many Mormons? Like of like per hundred people? How many think you are? Like, Bro, that's a lot of statistics. But I no, can't. like not exactly. But like <laughs> so numbers, man. Like if you go out right and you see people like. Yeah, I mean, you, you probably, it's probably in Salt Lake City, you probably guess about 50 50 right now, I'd say. It's 50 Mormon? Oh, Salt at least 50 50. 50 50 Salt Lake City? In Salt Lake City, Shit. it's about 50 50. Oh, but everywhere else, it's probably about 80 20 Mormon? on a good day. Oh, yeah. 80 20 Mormon? Oh, yeah, bro. How'd you Shit. not? Yeah, bro. What'd you think? Oh, yeah, bro. It's at least maybe 50 50 in Salt Lake City. I did not know you guys were that, 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 that prominent. Oh, it's prominent. This is all, like, all I know was fucking short sleeve white button up shirts and bicycles. That's all I knew. They're taking over. And bicycles. Fucking yeah, D- DJ Khaled. Yeah. DJ Khaled of Mormon. That's what, you, that's what you saw. Is. out there now? Yeah, there, so there is this Mormon guy in Pittsburgh, and he friended all the comedians like in mm-hmm. the comedian group, and then he would hit us up and be like, hey, we're going to get a group together and rake leaves. Block. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, fuck that. I'm, like, I'm good. Yeah, they're nice people, though, but it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's probably 50. Label work, I'm good. Yeah. So when they when they go preach, are they like in Salt Lake too? Are they, they? I guess they send them out. There's no yeah, some of them get sent out, but no, there's plenty in Salt Lake too. You'll see them riding around the bike, but yeah, I mean they know. <laughs> but you like know when I mean? you see someone, you can tell like Mormon. Like yeah, pretty Mormon. much. You can normally sure. tell for the most part. I mean, How maybe some uh, they're shaved. Usually, not <laughs> always, shaved. but for the most part, they're shaved. Usually blonde, real clean cut, and they got you know they got the white shirt. You know what I mean underneath. Yeah. And you, but honestly, they'll just usually bring it up. Like if you're in conversation for more than five minutes, oh, they wear an undershirt. You mean? Always the undershirt, bro. You don't know about Why? the garments, bro? Always. You don't know about the garments? You don't know about the garments? Gotcha. Always, bro. Gotta, gotta have to. that undershirt. Gotta have that protection. Are you serious? That's spiritual. You didn't know this shit? No. Yeah, bro. Why, why do they do that? Serious? I, it's like spiritual protection, bro. <laughs> spiritual. It's a like white a, shirt? a white shirt. Spiritual yeah, man. Protection. You know, you just put that shit with some extra strong bleach and it just blocks everything out. <laughs> bleach actually fucks clothes up if you did not know that. Actually, stop using not bleach. If you're, not if you're wow. magical. Good point. Uh-huh. Not if it's magic. <laughs> Satan yeah. only attacks from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't need, you don't need to worry about anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are okay. He Satan's want like those. coronavirus. It only, it's only coronavirus. certain places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they always do wear that like fucking undershirt. Yeah, always, bro. Short Even sleeve sleep? undershirt, yeah. Everything, bro. Wow. That is wild. But honestly, yeah, you'll, they'll just bring it up. But like for me, man, come on. They know. As soon as I walk up, they're like, Oh, you're not, like, you're not Mormon. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm not even gonna try. No, they're, they're, they're walking they're like, oh, where are you from? Because you're clearly not from here. <laughs> like, oh yeah. shit, you're mixed, right? What I'm gave not it away? Try. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. No, it's 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 pretty prevalent, bro. Shit. And they don't drink. They don't do shit, right? Publicly, they don't drink. Publicly. Oh, listen, like legitimately, I was talking to Joe a, Smith. Uh, can't see what happens at home. Well, you know, and also there's there's holes that are that God can't see. You know what I mean? So they do all yeah, kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's why you used to tell bro. girls. <laughs> 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 these, these, these are special blankets. <laughs> Listen, I was, just, I, I was talking to a Jehovah Witnesses. They said they drink, they smoke, they do all. Yeah. I was like, I didn't that, know, we were I, raised Jehovah's Witnesses, both of us. I, I didn't know what it is. Like, is yeah. that the truth? 
They don't I mean, smoke. But I mean, they don't smoke. But they have a lot more freedom than Jehovah's Witnesses in a lot of things, though. Really? really? Oh, yeah, man. Because they can cuss. They can wear beards. Can they fornicate? I mean, they can't fornicate, but I also don't think it's... There's not, like, people tattling on you as much. From what I understand, uh, yeah. there's not there's not okay. the tattling aspect, but... Yeah, no, Jones Witnesses don't smoke. Like, you're not supposed to. Like, that's a rule. Like, don't smoke. But, you wow. like, Witnesses drink. Yeah, Witnesses drink. Oh, what is I don't know a fucking name. Chris in Michigan, that motherfucker used to drink a shit. Oh, what is his drink? He was buddy. a full fledged Jehovah Witness. Yep. He was like, we yeah. drink, we drink all kinds of shit. I all of like, it. I did not know that. They're like, I, well, okay. what, can, what? What? We can't do anything else. All right, we're gonna drink. Then. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna drink and fornicate. I thought. Yeah. I, <laughs> I got nothing against Jehovah's Witnesses, but I was the worst Jehovah's Witness of all time. You didn't have of to tell me that. Right. <laughs> you didn't have to tell me that, Corey. <laughs> you didn't have to tell the me. bad influence over here. Yeah, I was quote unquote bad association. It's all right though. But you you think they got more freedom? In a lot of ways, yeah. There's a lot of shit they can do and they can get away with. And like even if they if they leave, it's not quite the same. They can still talk to their family and shit. It's yeah. different. Like so it's if different. they're like if they're like, look, I'm not digging the other shirts anymore. I don't want to be Mormon. They can just I do mean, that. it depends on the family, right? Of course. But but like you'll still be invited to the Thanksgiving dinner and shit. You know, they oh, celebrate wow. holidays too. They so still have you around. They'll still I mean, you know, it's gonna be you know it's it's not gonna be fun. But they'll still have you around. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little different. Do you think is there a lot of racism in uh, Salt Lake City? Because so many white people. Um, there's a lot of white people who think that racist. Like literally, when I moved there, the guy who I ride with, he was like, "Well, I knew there were still some out there." But my wife thought that that was pretty pretty much they all thought it was over. Like Obama got elected, oh, and they all just thought the like, racism is in. It's, it's the, the end people. of racism. You know, like the we white did people it. thought it was over. They thought it was over. <laughs> yeah, that was it. They're like, of oh course. my god, like <laughs> we're not like this. This is America. We're great. <laughs> why would they think? Yeah, it was over? but and then you know, and now ha- about half of them are like, oh shit, this is real, and half of them are like, oh well, see, if racism was real, but maybe we should have kept it around because of the fucking riots. So there's fucking it's half and half, bro, but. Mm. But, uh, but are yeah. they are they like shitty to like is it like okay like if you go into like country parts of Pennsylvania it's I mean there's parts like racist it's bad but it's Salt Lake being so white is it like that I mean since most of it's Mormon most there's I don't think you're gonna ever gonna have a Mormon be overtly mean because they're nice bro. people uh, they're passive aggressive yeah they're nice people they're not, but yeah. they're passive aggressive that's yeah. that's what it is I'm like I'm not gonna say they're all nice because I've definitely met some that were mean but Very passive-aggressive. but it's it's passive it's a different kind like. Back home, bro, someone, bro, back home, if you're pissing someone off, it's all New Yorkers. They're like, you know what, buddy? You're fucking pissing me off right now. I mean, you just step the fuck off yeah, my Florida? lawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But in Utah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something more subtle, bro. I'm like, oh, honey, it's so nice to have you. It, I actually have to go. You know, they're going to pull some stupid stuff. <laughs> oh, honey, shit, bless bro. your heart. Joseph Smith's going to give you leprosy. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. I'm going to put the roast on. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> so if we could just wrap this up, this that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, so sure. they're not going to, no one's going to be overly mean to you. But, but I mean, it happens. Like, the, the first couple of weeks I was there, I walked up to someone and I don't know, I didn't hear what the one guy said, but there was another guy working with him. And he actually checked him, though. To, to his respect, he was like, why don't you keep that race shit to yourself? <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, whatever you said, keep that shit to yourself. And he's like, yeah, he just fucking walked away. But, you know, so it's out there, man. Yeah. But Mormons don't seem like, but tough they're not, they're not, yeah, bro, they're not going to fuck it. They're not confrontational. Like when bro. I go out in the country, sometimes I get scared because I'm like, these are some tough white people. But, like, yeah, no. Nah, and Mormons aren't tough white people. They're not tough. Like, they would like to think that they're like, you know, like horseshoe pioneer wagon men. But, I mean, if you step to them, yeah. they're going to chill. You know, yeah. come on. You, got the, you can't get the undershirt dirty, bro. It's not like, it's not like, the backwoods of Mississippi. No, like, I definitely. Oh my God. I'm it, definitely less afraid in He Utah. has a Confederate flag oh, sewn to his body. <laughs> like, fuck. Sewn into his neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Because Florida, there's some like that. There's some shit like that in Florida. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, I was wondering like if it was more like passive aggressive or more like Confederate flag country people. No, yeah. Definitely more the passive aggressive. Yeah. I yeah. So. On the surface, it definitely, I mean, it's, you know, it's the land of Mitt Romney, bro. So, like, they're going to come correct. They're going to be nice. <laughs> they're going to be nice. Wives? That. Nah, he's uh, not. That's, that's, so actually, well, I'll give you I this. Rock. I will say this. More, if you're, it's kind of like, like, uh, how Muslims are like, you know, if you believe in like, you know, terrorism or whatever, you're not Muslim. Like, officially, they don't consider you Muslim. Or, like, witness, if you're a Jehovah's Witness and you, like, are out fucking everybody every other week, they're like, he's not really Jehovah's Witness. Right. Same thing in Mormons, if you believe in, like, multiple wives, they're like, you're not really Mormon. You're yeah. maybe FLDS. I thought, I thought that was a Mormon thing. Not anymore. Oh, wow. Why, when did they... 
That changed like probably like 30, 20, 30 years ago or something like that. But there's so still the hardcore motherfuckers still do. Yeah, that. exactly. There's still like a fundamentalist section of it, FLDS, and they still do all like that those shit. Jews with the curly cues. Yep, exactly. They, they, they fuck through a sheet and all that. Although <laughs> they're, they're, you wouldn't know. No, the you wouldn't know, bro. Cues. Like I've been to some other house, I think, and it, they're just they they wear jeans and sweaters just like everybody else, or whatever. But yeah, but they'll, but they're the ones who love Joseph Smith. Most um, LDS people yeah. like they'll pretend to love Jesus. FLDS people are like, nah, we don't give a fuck about Jesus. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about got, Joey. It's Joey Smith, boy. Yeah, fuck Jesus, bro. It's Joey Smith. It's all about Smith. Joey Bag of Donuts. So that, Joey that, Bag of D's. That's their prophet, <laughs> Joey Smith. Yeah, that's the one. Fucking A, man. So, like, like but they have, they'll like have like three wives. Name. Exa- that sounds Joe. like a prophet. Yeah, G- Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, if, Muhammad. Like, yeah. Joe. Joseph. <laughs> Joe Smith. Smith. <laughs> if I was reading the Bible and it was like Prophet Joe was with Jesus, I'd be like, cool. okay. no, he wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right next to Prophet Ed. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Oscar. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, Prophet Tina Fey was out there too. I saw her at the buffet. <laughs> Prophet Tina Fey. <laughs> I forgot about that bitch. <laughs> Whatever happened to she her? Was hot. She was funny on Thirty Rock. She was funny. She was funny. On she was funny on SNL too. Yeah, she was. She was funny. SNL As her Sarah Palin. Now. Yeah, she yes, was dude. SNL was very, so P, bad. Very PC. Very PC, man. Did you see? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still coughing. I'm, it's been like three <laughs> weeks now. Um, did you see uh, the skit that Pete Davidson did when he was impersonating Joe Rogan? No, I didn't see that. Mm-hmm. Ryan. Can you pull it out for us real quick? Please do. It's, Please uh, pull so it out. What happened with him and Kim, bro? He was, what happened? Is he, I think is he, he banging I think Kim he Kardashian? Is that what happened? He was, he he was, hang, he was hanging out with Kim. But, with, it's, with, but it's a questionable thing West. right now, right? He was hanging out with Kanye West, but then he started to uh, dabble with SNL. Kim a little bit. Jo- oh, Joe Rogan. There was, there was a part. Like him and Kanye were friends? I guess so. Uh, it's the Big Bird. Uh, but then wait, him and Kim were friends. I want okay. Do this. I don't, I don't know how Hollywood works, man. Everybody's friends, and then they fucking the next day. I don't oh, fucking shit. know, man. Do the top one, but just fast. See if you can fast forward to the Big Bird part. Big Bizzard. But were they? Uh, they were like caught in New Jersey, bro. Oh, is that man. what happened? That's what I always see. Is like, oh, Kim and Kim and Pete in New Jersey. He legit. Well, he, he, do with anything. That's the thing, Why was Kim and the Kardashian H- in New him Jersey? And, him and Pete. Him because and Pete. He, she she wanted that Pete Davidson dick. Apparently he's she could have got that dick somewhere else, bro. Why they had to go to New Jersey? Him and Pete. Him and Pete. Like Kanye and Pete. He's hanging out with no problem. Now, all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, Kim and him started. Him and Kim and Pete started to happen. Mm. So I have no fucking clue. Everybody's passed around it in Hollywood. Try so there. no one really knows right now. All right. An eight foot tall fictional bird. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happened to Big Bird. So that's supposed After to be Ted Cruz, I think. Oh man, well, I don't feel too good. Wow. So this is what happened to you a week after you got the vaccine? It sure is. My feathers fell out, my nuts got huge, and my joints don't work. It's real bad, man. Well, don't worry. I read online that you can take a bath in borax, and that will cleanse you of any nanotechnologies. You sure, Senator Cruz? That sounds kind of dumb. You're dumb. Bro, this is so lazy. No, you're dumb. Yeah, fact, see if you can find the more Joe Rogan box in. Oh, actually, 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 it could be. It is a bit lazy, oh, there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's coming, he's coming. Like that. Yeah, that sounds I cooked for Senator Cruz. Pocket. But let's ask our huh? resident. I actually cooked for Senator Joe Cruz for, for a personal dinner. It's pretty dope. Uh, he looks like Dracula. Right. I used to host Fear Factor, and now doctors fear me. <laughs> He's not even trying to do an impersonation. Oh, sure no, no. thing, Big Bird. You see, I took Carlos Mencia down. I could take COVID. They got Here's no some laugh. Zinc and ayahuasca and some horse medicine. Well, why would a bird take horse this medicine? I'm a human, and I took horse medicine. This is and terrible. I'm speaking this of things that uh, are they keep the camera so much? Uh, today's two sponsors are the letters S and D, as in I can S my own D. <laughs> what? Huh? What does okay, that have show? to do with? What, what, what does that have to do? What did okay. Joe Rogan ever say that before? I don't know. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Dude, he's, SNL is so lazy. It's terrible. It's just terrible. It, used to be, it, it, it sucks. It used to be hilarious. I, I tell you, I used to love Andy Samberg. Like you're just jealous you can't S your own D, Corey. Yeah, we're both too fat to do that. You know that, right? Why would you bring it up again? If you could suck your own dick, would you do it? Fuck no. I don't know, man. I might try it. I might try it once. I mean, if I could, if I found out that I. Could do it, I'd be like, See, this is why you don't make a reaction immediately because you I get people to say stuff like that. Oh, I don't give a shit. I might try it. Never in my life would I have a child. Sorry, I don't want to taste my own dick. I don't know if I want to taste it, but if I could, I don't know. It's just skin, right? 
probably tastes like your fingers. Is it though? Is it skin? Yes. No, but it's what? It's a, it's a, what the it's fuck? It's a, it's a, it's a different kind of skin. It's a different kind. Listen, but if I could ask my own, I'd do it once. I'd have to do it at least once. Don't act like it's not in your own mouth. I don't know. It depends how comfortable it was. It's a it's skill. Like listen, if you put your fingers in your mouth, it's different. You put your dick in your mouth, that's a different situation. Let's, yeah. let's be honest. You got like, you got like oh, it's very different. It's different very different. Situation. Please, let, let, let's be honest. Different, There's no not worse. fluids coming out different. of you. He didn't say bad. It's, it's, uh, as, as stated before, in 30 seconds, I'm not, I will never do it. So you're saying you think about it? Never. Oh, okay. I'm not off from Albania. So you said you keep an open mind. It sounds like he's keeping pretty open mind. Not me. <laughs> not, not my thing. Yeah, I don't think I would do it either. Just, but I feel like you would. Though. Um, and you have no, I'm like no weird shame about, about that. Like, I'm proud of you. <coughs> like, I don't, I don't like bodily like fluids. fluids. Like, I don't fuck girls in their periods. Like, I just don't. <laughs> as, he, like as he just gave me shit about it, <laughs> and now he just switched oh, off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, feel, I feel like you definitely would try it. 100%. You wouldn't try. You wouldn't try. I don't think. I know. It's too gross. Because, like, count. there's a lot of things. I, it's just, I don't like bodies. Like, it's just, humans are just gross. Pussies. I don't like bodies. I'm, I'm not mocking you for it. Yeah, yeah whatever. But, but what would you, hey, would you tweet tweet under in your own mouth? I don't know. We'll have to find out. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Pete Davidson can have his own dick because he's a little dude, but he's gonna rock it. I do not know. Huh? How'd you know? Him? He fucks me. Nice. Um, no, he, that makes more sense. I knew there was a way you get all this equipment. <laughs> no, he, you can't afford these microphones on. <laughs> yeah, it's like a two hundred fifty dollars microphone out of nowhere. Yeah. He's he got, uh, he got seven of them. He, he made I a dildo. Like, to do he made a dildo for like a, a mold of his dick. Yeah, yeah, why not? I did not I mean, know anything about okay, that. Okay, well, no one with a five inch mind if I that. could. That's true. No one, like, if you're doing that, you got at least nine on you. <laughs> and here, go, here goes Ryan searching. Like, <laughs> how, how surprised am I? <laughs> here, here goes the immigrant fucking Brazilian Ryan searching. <laughs> and now buy my new line of gentlemanly size six and a half inch dildos. <laughs> it's tattooed. <laughs> it's like, it's like, here no, goes man. the fucking Brazilian bus still searching. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Fuck it. I, I did not sign up for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it no. got stuck in the dildo mold and will delay shipments <laughs> he got stuck in there his Tat- dick's tattooed tattooed pete davidson dildo yikes i don't my, know if my, I my man my man is fuck ariana grande who else um kim kardashian and who else who else is that other we white that, that coked out white bitch that um what's her name Lindsay lohan not her. She's actually she, she, she has got her set her, her life together. Oh wait, really? It's another. It's another bitch. Wow, right? actually, I'm proud of her. <laughs> she you know what? Like, you know what? She actually, actually she's actually, a really nice. Actually, I saw actually, her last week at the swap actually, meet. Actually, that bitch got her life together. <laughs> actually, that bitch got her life together. And uh, she went back to community college, and actually, she's yeah. doing real good. She yeah. got her degree. So actually, you can you can suck it, Trey. Actually, All right. she, got, she got kids and have a nice life. <laughs> She's doing just fine. Leave Lindsay alone. <laughs> oh my god, that was oh, also um, Britney's free. Britney is free. So. Britney is free. Free Britney. Thank man. God. god All the coked out white bitches here. But that come be, on, that bitch that, crazy. I, okay, at one point in my life, I was so jaded about women. When she shaved her head, I was like, "That's hot." Are you like, serious? <laughs> just to see her in turmoil, I was like, Ooh. I was like <laughs> This bitch got problems. The pure that's fucking the, degradation of it all. That was a bad point in my life. This bitch got like, problems. Yeah, bitch, shave your head, you fucking crazy bitch. <laughs> you crazy cunt. Oh, my Jeez God. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, this right. bitch that's got that's problems. Like, this this yeah, podcast is out on the sidewalk. That's how I like <laughs> it. This podcast is all about being being honest, and I I was very aroused by that shaved head bitch. Seriously? Oh, yeah. She just in trouble. It was just awesome. Shit. Yeah, but that was a different point in my life. I, I like women more now. <laughs> I like women more now. Do you like women more now? I or degrading like women, women more I was now. like, God, we, like, gotta put the, we gotta put that on a t shirt. I, I like to, women more now. <laughs> like, whenever, like, when I was younger, I used to be so jaded by women. I was like, fuck, man, I wish I didn't like fucking these bitches. But now I'm like, I can say, I, I like fucking them. And like, that was like, <laughs> I like my only, only, only use for them. That's, only that's it. Them. Yeah. But now I find they have, they have some more uses. A couple. Yeah, um, like cooking, cleaning. All right, pull up this fucking fake crime mechanic, please do. All right, so oh, Kyle Rittenhouse, <laughs> if you don't remember, last year during the Black uh, Lives Matter riots bitch. in Kenosha, I don't like Hasty Blood. <coughs> he shot three people, killed two, injured one, and he's on trial right now to see if he's going to be charged with murder or if it was self defense. But apparently, one of his testimonies is just a little too much for him to handle. Because uh, he broke down like a little bitch. <laughs> right, on, right, let's hear it. right on cue. Let's hear it. Running from my 
right side. Um, <laughs> and I was cornered from in front of me. I mean, I mean, I mean that's all, folks. Uh, uh, corner ski. <laughs> Let me see and those tears. Come were, on. Come on. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to work him up. Aww. He's like, if I squeeze, I got to squeeze. This is it. I got to make it happen. There were Think about Fido. <laughs> oh, people my God. Right people right there. White people. <laughs> Bro, what is with your chin, dog? You got a reverse butt chin, dog. Yeah, you got a double chin. <laughs> yeah, like, put it on his chin. Put it <laughs> this is terrible, <laughs> man. This, and you see how he looked to the right? He was like, right, right. Is this enough? He's like, Dude, come on, come on, do this shit. Come on, bro. Is this enough? <laughs> Call the flag. Call the flag, bro. You, you can uh, just relax for a minute, sir. Uh, take a break. Oh, uh, this is I'll, fucking uh, terrible. Please don't talk to the police during the break. What, read, watch, or listen to any kind of track. All right, that was. Terrible. I don't know if that's fake or not. That very well. Are you serious? Are you yeah. serious, dude? You think it, maybe you, you, think you maybe don't it was? know if that was fake or not. <laughs> you think okay, it was real? Me, me and him growing up, we when you got in trouble, you had to go on these things called a judicial meeting <laughs> meeting with the Jehovah's Witnesses and the, uh, the elders. Bro, I used to be so scared in those fucking meetings where I was like, I was in tears before. But did I you cry imagine, like that? I mean, maybe I had a couple times I'd be scared too. But I couldn't imagine being in front of a televised. Jury fighting for your life, like at seventeen years old, that's a fuck. That's that's a lot for anyone at any age. Like he could have broke down right there, or he could also be hamming it up. I mean, I don't know. Either way, it's hilarious. Uh, so he's what, definitely what hamming it up, bro. Like, Absolutely, he's hamming it up, bro. Because look, here's the thing: it's not like it's not like you're completely unprepared. It's not like you get dropped. Off. It's not like. Oh, that's it. Oh, Mr. Rittenhouse, we're going to need you at the courthouse at 7 o'clock. And then it's boom, you're there in front of a million people changing your life. Exactly. Bro, you got weeks to think exactly. about this shit but and talk you. about it. At a certain point, anyone who's been in a hard, long, extended period of their life knows at a certain point, you run out of tears, bro. To be honest, from yeah, a at a certain point, you run out of tears over the shit. Yeah. And I don't know, man. He didn't have any tears for this situation right now. From a standpoint, <laughs> he couldn't of, even get any out, he actually. Was out. He was yeah. out of tears. <laughs> from a standpoint of like preparing, like, when I have done big shows, you can prepare all you want, but it's not that's real. That's true. But nothing prepares it for that's, like, that's true. That's true. That's true. On that setting, like, but I don't know, man. Like, he's a kid. He's like seventeen. You know what I mean? Like, he or he might be eighteen now. Whatever. He, but he's a child. I mean, the, the, in the end of the day, you can never tell from someone's facial expressions purely if they're faking or not. But my that's instinct true. is this motherfucker's faking. Yeah, it's just too over the top. This motherfucker ain't shit. I'm sorry. That's that's my that's what my heart's telling me. This motherfucker. Ain't yeah, shit. I mean, it's just my heart, and that's just maybe he's pure anecdotal. So there's nothing that like. I could show you to say it's definitely fake, but to me, looking at it, that shit looks fake. That I looks mean, like how I would cry if I needed someone to fucking believe me right now. Yeah. Right now. I need you to believe I me. Talk to Please, that bitch. I swear to God. Exactly. And then, and then she she came up and she, she grabbed my dick. And I don't want her to. Bro, that's how I wasn't in the Can I get 10 minutes? Can I, get ten? Can I please get 10 minutes? I need 10 minutes. My thing is hard right now. Can I get 10 minutes, please? Please. <laughs> Like, come on, man. I didn't want her to show me my nipple, but I swear to God, she yeah. did. Yeah, she just pulled it out out of nowhere. I'm a human being, okay? And then she licked the balls. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, I know like, I was already in her on. bed with my underwear off and everything, but then she cornered me and she like, told me your underwear. Come like, on, man. Just stop, uh, man. This is too yeah, I mean, I don't know. He man. he's definitely a goober, but he's definitely gonna be innocent. He's a goober. Like he is, might get shown he, innocent, listen, but. If this didn't happen to him, that his mean he's future innocent, was going to be lawnmower mechanic. That was going to be the highest that he was ever. Yeah, and go. now he gets to be in a political icon and yeah. something yeah. that oh, he's to be held up by everybody. He's yeah, a millionaire oh, forever. for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 people who take sympathy on crying white kids. So the, the NRA <laughs> is funding him. Everybody's funding in this month. Oh yeah, he's going to do good. NRA speeches across he's the country good. for the rest of his life. He's oh yeah, he's set. He's set. It's it's set. It must be nice. But I will say, from the videos I watched. In his situation, if I was there, I would have shot all three. Of well, if somebody too. if somebody pulls a gun on me, of course, yeah, common sense. If I got an AR fucking fifteen, all right, let I'll, me ask you. This. I'm gonna blast you a fucking way. Say you're running away from someone, like say you're running away and they're chasing you, mm -hmm. and they don't have a weapon, but they're chasing you and you have a gun. You like stop chasing me, stop chasing me. You turn around and then they lunge at you and towards your gun. Are you shooting in that moment? I probably, I you're probably, shooting, right? I'm probably unloading. Yeah, actually, to be honest, me probably not. You if they're just lunging at me, no, I wouldn't. It's a different, it's a different Did he have a gun? Did you lunge him at the first time? No, but you don't want to let someone touch your gun. Like if you're saying stop chasing me, and then well, they're that's, chasing you. But that's like, but is that? 
I look at it differently, bro. To me, I look at the whole thing tactically. One, you let yourself get cornered. Two, you let somebody close in distance to you. Three, if someone's wor- if you're worried about someone shooting your gun, you should have not been in this situation. In the first. All right, Jason Bourne. We, we, Anybody we, say, we I'm just saying, it. bro. Listen, like, we got if you go in, watching bro, the if, Equalizer on the fucking podcast, bro. bro. If, <laughs> if, if he grabbed my gun, I would hit like this. I'm flipping around. No, but you don't run out. Listen, every time something happens, this motherfucker hit his watch. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Listen, you don't run out to a fucking mob, quote unquote, of a bunch of people with a gun military style strapped to your race and not think that you're Rambo That's in your head. That's so true. if you ain't ready to do some Rambo type shit, Real shit. Then maybe I feel you like, have been there. Like he shot three he people. He listen, did. Listen, he was I ready for like it, but he's, he's the he thing. He woke like, up in the morning and walked out the door and was like, I'm ready to kill some people. Exactly. And that's my whole thing, bro. But I'm not going to lie. When all that riding was happening, I was like, wow, if I had a business, I mean, it wasn't his business, but I was like, if I knew people who had business and stuff, I was like, I'm like I'm ready to go, like because I I was pretty pissed with all the riots, like just the destruction of like innocent people's property. But were you though? Because here's my thing: yeah, are you are you are you mad about innocent people's property on other days when it's a different issue? Are you mad about innocent people's well, property get, when it's a storm or something yeah, that could have been prevented? Well, I can well, say, storm I can say is this. choice. I can say this: look at the American Revolution back in the day. Sometimes they ain't innocent people's choice. What either. happened? The American Revolution they 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 burnt every fucking thing for their revolution. Exactly. The idea to, to to liberate themselves from. The powers that be, bro. Exactly. How is but this useful? How is this different? How is this not um, useful? Sometimes you got to burn this shit to the ground. There's a, the difference between the England England's hold on America and the number of black people who die from cops is not really oh, like you it, can't it's, correlate it's, that. that it's, was it's more. more just, it's, it's more than just the, the black people die from cops. It's just the the idea of a redlining, knowing 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 you you're talking to a real estate agent, knowing that you're not they're not they're not in actually your, no, the American Revolution. They didn't burn everything down. The English were trying to burn it down. Well. I shit. I mean, what do you mean? I'm, he I'm means sure, burning everything down. I'm sure they have like, history that can say different. I'm not sure. I don't know. I know. I know that it was rioting. Yeah, it makes sense. It wouldn't killing. make sense for them to burn their own shit down. I mean, <laughs> hey, I mean, look, like, it's not, like Honestly, the, I mean, the destruction hey, is, part man. of rioting is just a, is revolution. Yeah, and sometimes that's that's an expression of anger. All right, but but that's totally different. How an expression of anger. Though? How'd that work out? Like how did doing all, destroying all that destruction, ruining people's lives? How'd that work out? I mean, are we are We're we still having the conversation? States. We yeah. still having the conversation, right? Yeah. yeah but do you what, think what if, if it was your business? Do you think if black people down? stayed home and watched TV and was like, "Damn, that's crazy"? Do you think that the politicians <laughs> would have had any of the changes that we've had? Yeah, but true. I mean, like what changes? I mean, they're trying to be a little more strict. I mean, there's not enough, clearly, but they're trying to be nothing stricter on body me. control. Well, nothing for you, but they yeah, people well, have hey, made they've baby. made changes on body cams. They've made it so that you have to have them on twenty four seven. There's some police departments that are trying to like shift their funds to more community outreach, de escalate. There's yes. training that's going on. And all those places have way more crime now. All that's of those the, places yeah, have way poor, more crime yeah. now. That's no, a hell no, of a statistic. You don't have, you Come don't on have now. They you don't have not, the because you don't even know all the places Ryan, I'm talking Ryan, about. On, Ryan, you don't you even be, know the yeah, places pull, I'm talking pull about. Pull up, Ryan. Ryan you better sit your ass down. You're about to look pull, some shit up. Pull it up, Ryan. Let's look please. up Portland's crime stats. Look up Seattle's crime stats. Look up San Francisco's crime stats. So California's crime stats in general. Let's look up Austin's crime stats. We yeah, but none of our statistics. Let's look it up. This is Corey Brennan's right wing fucking podcast. No, I'm just right. Here's my question. No, here's my question. Here's my question. Here's my question. Minneapolis's crime stats, they're all way Way, way, way worse a- a- across the board. Okay, but how are how are crimes reported? Oh, here we go. See, ask the question. What? Well, here we go. You want to pull up statistics? Then we're gonna get all specific, bro. What do you mean? But, on, uh, but but here's the thing. Here's the thing. People would use a statistic as long as it treats your side. It's like FBI crime statistics. We're gonna we're, we're gonna go back and forth. No, on I'm how not talking. About, I'm not even talking about the, vali- the the validity of statistics. How are crime statistics? Like when? How does a quote unquote murder or a quote unquote rape or a quote unquote robbery get reported? Oh, I mean, whenever a charge happens, then it then it gets recorded. Okay. So, I, are you, like, but you can't correlate a rise in a specific statistic from an event that's completely unrelated to it. So, you're saying they put this policy in, and then we see this increase in a crime rate yeah, in you one just record, year. You, you but it could also at, be that maybe they were more accurately reported, that people were more likely to report them up, at that point. Up I'm saying there's a lot of factors that you're going to really go off of one statistic, but look okay, up, pull up your po- statistic. Because clearly you've thought statistics. about this, and you have a statistic in mind that you want to yeah, see. I mean, do, uh, that's yeah. fixed your narrative, so let's pull it up. Portland, Seattle, they all like they're all higher. If you look up year over let's year, check it out. They're all okay, higher. but let's are you is that out. adjusted for population increase? Is that adjusted Trust for me, yeah. Because this looks like a generic New York City, to all me. of them, all of them. Um, let's see here. So exactly, what what are you fighting for? 
I'm not fighting for. I, I'm fighting for not destroying people's property and rioting. Like, there's ways to go about it. That's not a good way. Let to me go ask you it. this. Let me ask you this. If you had to choose between uh, no black people ever dying again or 15 million businesses getting burned to the ground, which one would you choose? If 15 million businesses, if I, if there was guaranteed across the country, if those guaranteed that it was gonna. Uh, provide that result, then I would say the businesses. But so there it, we go. It's not, but it's not. Okay, so the, all it is then is the difference between where do we go then? All right, fine. Ten million businesses. No, I'm saying five million businesses. I'm saying if it meant that black One people would businesses. never get killed ever again, then obviously that's an easy choice. But that's not bring, burning businesses. Okay, is not gonna so bring upon you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Burning a business will not bring about the change that we want, and that's why I'm saying it's not the means to the end. But it's not will, any good means at all. That's a you think way there's to go no about it. there's no there's no situation in which. Some destruction of property or something being quote unquote violent because we're so afraid of violence in this fucking country. <laughs> you think that there's no there's no situation in which that can be a viable means to an end. There's no point in which you just say fuck this shit and burn this shit to the ground. No, that's not a good way to go. About it. Because what, here's the thing now. You because now they can label pockets? that group as animals and savages, and they can. Go what if they were doing that, that, that already? That's cool. That's what cool, if they were doing that anyway? Once you start messing with the people's pockets, the money. Yeah. That's that's when you start seeing changes. Yep. That's why. That's why they start messing with. That's why they start yeah. burning businesses. No. That's why they start. That, that, but like, the people's what, businesses. What, what, you, what, you, you, you think? What, listen. The people's well, businesses. Here's the thing too. Here's the thing too. You're acting like everybody in that mob. Who owns those businesses? The bank, right? No, citizens. Sometimes citizens. Sometimes. The so, bank. It for depends. the most part, it's the bank. It depends. No, it the depends. citizens end up taking the hit because they have to file bankruptcy because they can't pay for it, or insurance companies. Won't yeah, pay and the bank's not insurance companies care of will, them will go bankrupt, and then they don't so, get them pay so out. So my question it's to the you, people who so my end question, up the bank. So my question to you. So that's true. I'll how do you that. how do you feel about when Trump lost that whatever and people stormed the Washington Monument? That was the, shitty too. The, the, see, do you, the, see, that was shitty. The, but in their mind, they felt like they were they were trying to achieve something. Yeah, they're idiots. Just like the other side. They're, they're hey, but people so who riot the, the streets thing, and people that's who, the thing, who went if, after if, the Capitol are the same if, people. If, if the people who, who are above them are, are, you can't really do it too much. To, you can't really do too much to really show a change. So you say, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to I'm gonna fuck up my building. Why not? I'm going to fuck up the person that I live in the next to building. Why not? Because it, I can't really do anything. Because you guys, you yeah, guys, that's not, but you that's guys, a you guys control, you just control it. They can't do anything. That's like, that's if, like, if, listen, if, if I don't you, like this. I'm going to break other people's if you, toys. If you own the banks, the fucking, the, 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 every fucking thing in the world, how the fuck can you, can you show change? How can you, how can you want change to happen? Yeah, but, but how can I you mean, do anything? The thing is, how can you do? How can you saying. do anything? I don't understand what you're saying. If you if you want if listen if the pe- if the powers that be control every fucking thing in this world, as far as entertainment, f- sa- banks, whatever, how the fuck can you? How can you force change to happen? But all those riots didn't put a dent but in the forces that be. Answer that question. How how do you change anything? You have to go through legislation. Like you have to get people with your agenda into a place where they can so get you, voted so in you, and, so you and think, make you think you think politicians. Who, who 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 pay people to say or who who pay people to to vote one way and all this other bullshit? You think they are going to help actual people who's down bad is trying to? Let, to, to no, let here's what life. I'm saying. Like, Let's who's the guy runs BLM? Question. Who's that? Who's that white fellow? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sean King. Sean King. So like, if or Sean King. No, like okay, let's look AOC. Like AOC is a big BLM supporter, so you need. I can give a fuck about so, BLM because that's that's all bullshit to me personally. Well, no, yeah, but like they're trying the to push. BLM is like no, but that's the thing. So okay, so whatever. Here, Anyone who's trying to who's trying to bring that's about my thing, bro. A like, certain thing, agenda. It's like you com- you conflate so much where it's like anyone who's fighting for change is also BLM and is also the person that was writing, and those things are not. No, true. I didn't say that. No, but I mean you're you're like the whole thing is you act like oh well. The fact that these riots happened, it's stupid, it's dumb to go about it, so you discount the whole thing. Not everybody that was out there was necessarily trying to destroy a building. There was probably a handful of people. You know no, what I mean? Sure, or but like, there was definitely a ton of people. Look, who look at the too. Boston yeah, Tea but, if you, but what, what, what happened to Boston Tea that, Party? But that also could be in the river. They're, 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 throwing, but they're throwing the things that, 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 that they own and all the they, 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 they It's about destruction, showing people that we can control the fucking the, the income that happens to this, to this regional area. That's not a problem. Or partially, but I don't think all of them. No, it's not. It's not a problem. I don't think it is either, necessarily. It just isn't. It just isn't. It's not. I mean, look, like. You, it's not. To them, it is. Yeah, well, they're wrong. <laughs> we, all, listen, we all have, we, 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 we all have is, opinions. Like, yeah. okay, say, say, Trey, you, you grew up in a different situation. Say, say Trey owned a business situation. in uh, what it is. Minneapolis. Okay, and Trey isn't a bad person. He just ho- happens to own a business on a street, and that's his entire life. His livelihood was passed on to his kids, his family, and then someone. <laughs> 
And then, like, say you're riding and you burn his building down. He didn't do anything. He didn't kill George Floyd, but his life is now ruined. He has to completely start over halfway through his There's life. There's a few so things, though. Ruined. There's a few things. There's a few things. So say that's me in that situation. Mm -hmm. One, if I knew what the cause was for, I would want answers. I would be mad. You but wouldn't be mad? I would be mad. Of course. I would want answers. Your life is ruined. But two things. One, you're making the assumption my life is ruined. If I'm a business owner, an independent business owner that has real estate on a main street, my life's not ruined. I'm doing fine. Like, That's not true. Maybe there, to you. There, there's all time. No, because I know people they who like, insurance. I know they people, that insurance companies go bankrupt. They never get paid out then. That's what happens. Like, that's what happened to those people. The, just because, like, I know people who own sandwich. Okay. So, I know people who own sandwich. Fine, but, but, but either way, money. it will obviously be a blow to my income. But my thing is, like, I don't believe my life will be ruined. Honestly, I think the poorest person in the U.S. probably is going to be decently all right most of the time. We could definitely do a shitload better, so don't say that it's, like, a reason to not make improvements. But for the most part, I'd rather be homeless here than homeless in a different country, right? So is my life ruined? I don't know about all that. I've been fucking way lower. Two, honestly, depending on the situation and what the cause never... was, I might say, you know what? Fuck it, bro. That's just... That's part of the cost, and this time it was me. There's, there's, a a bigger bigger yeah. there's a bigger picture. There's a bigger picture. If I poured all my life and my 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 entire life went into a business to get it going, and someone tore it out mm -hmm. like that, I I think you create racist by doing that. So what about when you put all of your being, all of your life, and not just yours, but your kids and their kids and their kids into a business, or I mean a country, and yet you get the same result that at the end you're not getting what you want out of that business, anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, then at that point. You might need to make some drastic changes. And in making changes, sometimes things get out of control. Businesses burn. Listen, protesting And is, that's not great. Protesting is part of the country. That's good. But to riot and destroy and... I'm not saying riot and destroying and is the way... I'm not saying any of that's good. I'm not saying any of that is necessarily... No, the but you way guys are change. saying that's what you need but to do. But I am to make saying change. that sometimes well, I'm saying say sometimes it, it has its role or or more the fact that not even that it has its role, but that after it's happened, you you make space for it, right? Just like World War II, we kind of wish that didn't happen. You know, I'm sure most people would probably not have voted for the killings of millions of people, but out of World War II, we try to make something positive out of it, right? The same thing with riots. Like, no, do I think it's great? No, but I also accept that it's an inevitable part of, of a confined group of people getting angry to a certain point. At a certain point, there's just a, 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 a mass that hit, a critical mass where people their outrage boils over. So and it's not just the most successful civil rights leader this, of all time. Let me time. say this. Let me say this. So when Emmett Till, when Emmett Till young guy was killed, fucking dragged through the fucking swamp, killed, shot, mm -hmm. you you think, oh, let's, let's, let's riot and what the fuck, what does that do? Let's let's go, let's try to vote. Let's try to get some people in office who back then, who give, didn't really give a shit about our, our, our well-being in general. Well, open systemic racism I, was a lot more staunch it's, it's, and violent it, back it, then. It's this different. It, it was open. It's open back then. Now mm -hmm. it's, it's a little more disclosed now. For sure. But that's, so, that's true. You, so and that's why sometimes so, cause, you cause need I'm it a, to be I'm like that. I'm a black that. man who goes through the shit. <laughs> I know, but what I'm saying Let's is that... Let's be honest okay. with you. Okay. Uh, the rioting... Like, the most successful civil rights leader of all time was Martin Luther King. Like, no one got more done I'm, than No him. one's disagreeing that rioting hold on, hold sucks, on. Let, let, bro. Let me like, <laughs> people... Businesses burning down isn't fun. No one's, no one's fighting that, like, yeah, we should be able to burn businesses down. Well, that's what you did say. No. I'm saying that it's inevitably a part of... of, of change sometimes. But it's not good. And that... And no, I'm not it's saying a, it's good, so but it's not, is, it's it worth, good, right? is it worth going out and trying to be like and trying to stop it single-handedly hey. and have some uh, some totally inaccurate mindset of yourself that you're going to stop the entire well, the thing LA with riots one in 92, gun. There was Koreans that stood on top of their bodega and shot people off the top of the roof. So quick question. So do you think that so, was the same as that though? I th they're pretending they're pretending so, their property so destroying like, destroying businesses aren't right, right? It's wrong, yeah. So what about the Black Wall Street when they destroy the whole thing, the whole situation? Yeah, dude. I'm not saying yeah. it's not racist. I'm, not, I'm just saying, like, because they're blowing things up from air, airplanes. Okay, JB, you're just bringing up random things. shit that I'm just, has I'm not, connected to that. No, no, no. You, 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 just, you just brought up the riots. I'm brought up. I'm bringing up another systematically hysterical, historical situation. How, how is that different? Yeah, but it has nothing connected to what we're talking about right now. You okay, so what, so for you, Corey, you, Corey, they, 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 for you, they Corey then the main thing is like <laughs> that mean? this guy had a right to protect this private business, and he should be able to because he's American. Uh, no, he had a, he had a right to protect himself. Okay, which well, he wasn't when he was shooting people. He wasn't protecting a business. He was protecting himself. 
Like, the first guy was chasing him, the second guy was hitting him with a skateboard on the ground, and the third guy was pulling out a gun on him. Well, the second and third people, I don't give a fuck anymore because he already shot somebody. And at that point, if you're in a crowd and you fucking fire on somebody, everyone's going to try to get the gun out of your hand. That's the first thing that anyone's going to try well, to do. He was do. running away from the crowd. The crowd's chasing him. Well, he also just ran away. Yeah, well, it's the same thing, bro. You can't do a hit and run. You can't hit them with a car and fucking drive away. Someone's probably going to chase you. If you shoot someone in the middle of a crowd, yes, people are going to run and try to try to tell you, no, you need to be held responsible for well, this. The That's law not, already and I, and I'm glad that we do. I hope that we continue to live in a country where if you see someone get shot, you probably are going to try to intervene, right? But the, the self-defense At law least me. is that you, like, to be, for it to be self-defense, you have to try to remove yourself from the situation. Like, you can't just be like, hey, he threatened me. Kaplow! Like you have to say you you did what you could to get out of the situation. Okay, you couldn't avoid the situation. You're still in danger, and then you protected yourself. So, like him running away, like from a legal standpoint, is actually like what you're supposed to do. Like if you conceal carry, like these are things you should know. Like you're supposed to get out of the situation first. Like first and foremost, get away from the threat. Like the mm -hmm. shooting should be the last thing. So like he could have gone like ten people were chasing me, but like he was trying to get away. The only people who he shot were people who were right up on him. Like and then actively either lunging at him so, or hitting him. And so, that's the thing. is like you're, you're there's my, a difference in the law right. between before you fire and after you fire. And that's exactly what I'm trying to get at is what sucks and why he might get off legally and why I'm even saying maybe legally he has the right. But the thing is, in this, in this country, there's a standard that if you fear for your life, then you're justified, quote unquote. So maybe he did, quote unquote, fear for his life. And maybe he did have the right to... You know, fire it has to be a real somebody. threat too. Like you have to and, feel and that, and maybe it was a real, real threat. threat. Maybe yeah. he did feel like it was a real threat, but it was a real threat that didn't have to happen. Like the same way with, in my opinion, with cops, where it's like if there's a car that's driving away, you don't need to step in between yourself and the car and shoot the driver, right? Like that's right. just already a bad move. You right. already kind of put yourself in a bad situation. So yeah, at that moment when the car is fucking facing you down and you've got the gun pointed at the driver, yeah, you're probably legally allowed to shoot because your life is in danger, and he, if you don't shoot, he might shoot you. But you also could have not stepped in front of the car. And a better cop, a cop that I want, is the cop that doesn't step in front of the car, that right. takes uh, the burden upon himself to reduce harm and reduce tension and de-escalate. But he did not ever try to do that. He intentionally well, he was trying was, to run away. He was trying to run away, but he wasn't trying to de-escalate, bro. Like, what do you mean? He walked out the house. He walked. AR he came out and bet, bro. Old. He came out he instigating, bro. Something. Like you, come on. We've all we so all I know the I, guy that, bro. Like on, we've. Been I went over there, the timeline bro. on this because I've been watching the case. He, there was a fire at a building. He was going to put out a fire, and the guy who set the fire was mad that he was doing that. So he started chasing him. So he went out to. I don't know if that's true though. No, I mean, but I don't know. I'm Maybe telling that's, you, that's what. That's what. I don't know. If, that sounds good, but I don't think that's but how that, it went down. That's what's happening. That, that's because from. That's not what I've heard. From what I've heard, he was there at the protest for a couple hours before the fire was not for two hours. The dude was down downtown for at least two hours before this incident happened. Yeah, there was no fire was there. raging for two hours. I mean, he was there, but he wasn't shooting people. He was there walking was around ready, with an AR-15. He was ready to, though. But the guy he shot, who was probably who was talking riding, shit, probably gun. talking shit though, is my thing. Like, come on, bro, let's be honest. Like, you, uh, we've maybe, seen the guy know, at the maybe. concert who thinks he's fucking big and bad, and is walking around. And everyone's like, oh, this fucking guy, bro, mm -hmm. come on. And at a certain point, maybe it did boil over. I don't know. I think there's a lot of motherfuckers who want to be the lone survivor, Mark Wahlberg guy, and they and get, I think that they is put the, they put these out, themselves in a situation. They have and this they fantasy. Don't know what they got themselves into, yeah. and now they are in a bad situation, and then they have to get themselves out of it, and he did. Yeah. Whereas, like, he, he didn't know, like, especially a 17-year-old kid. I mean, I'll give you that. I don't think that he knows. Like. Yeah, he doesn't. I'll give you this. I don't think he went out necessarily knowing, thinking he was going to kill someone, maybe. But I think he went out with that mindset that I'm big and bad, and yeah, basically exactly yeah, that, that he's a fucking Rambo. And... You know, the thing is, though, that doesn't that, get him, though. It, well, there's been other people who have, just, who have done the same exact things in different situations, wrong place, wrong time, and it didn't break that way for them. But also, they did it without killing someone. Like, there's people who go and if wrong place, wrong time, went to a party, know that they shouldn't have gone. They get caught up, and there's a fucking police raid, or someone comes in, and there's someone else in the car, and they got a bunch of coke, or whatever the fuck the situation is. But the judge will say even then... Well, you shouldn't have put yourself in this situation. Take this as a learning experience. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why in this situation we can't say, look, bro, to be honest, to be honest, I understand you're 17. 
And to be honest, I understand you had a point, and maybe you did fear for your life. But, but, and maybe this is your parents' fault or whatever it may be, if you had even an inkling of the understanding or the anger that went on in this time in our country, you probably wouldn't have left the house if you were thinking about it, and you didn't think about it, and your true. lack of thinking true. maybe unfortunately legally, led to someone losing their life. That, but that's, like, the judge, that's not his business, really. Like his, right now, And that's why I say maybe legally he'll get out, because yeah. it's very he'll clear. He'll some like, charges, probably, like, like some illegal but, firearms. But that's not, that's not to say that he's street. innocent. That's to say that there's... there's Legally certain, is. Legally. He's innocent of murder. Yeah. For, but, for. but he's not innocent of being a cock. But like, or or taking a firearm across state lines, like that is an illegal thing that he did, apparently. And it's not even. And there's a difference between legal and illegal, and right and wrong. Sure. And I'm all I'm saying is that there is a great, there is an overlap between where maybe this is legal, but is no longer right. And those are the pl- those are the areas that we should rally around, and we should try to change. Those are the when we have the spotlight on that part of the conversation. That's when we should try to strike when the iron's hot. And change those part of the laws because we have like a 30 second fucking attention span in this country. So mm-hmm. while it's hot, you should probably try to change that shit. And I wish that I wish that they would do something to make it clear that even if he does legally get off, quote unquote, that there needs to be a shift in just culture. Right. Maybe even not law, but in culture in general that. We need to fucking start learning how to de-escalate. Yeah. Not everything has to lead to guns, bro. Like, if there's, like, even even the case But what did you say the guy chasing him was escalating? But, Isn't that escalation? If but, you're chasing the guy... I don't know. The oh, maybe, oh, maybe, that's, maybe that's why That's why it has to be a 21-year-old 20, minimum to have an actual AR-15. Maybe having to be in a 17-year-old maybe, kid yeah. with an AR-15... Makes you, makes you, makes you think, maybe I can, I can just, I can gun this person down, like, as if I'm a fucking movie star. Mm-hmm. Things are different. In the real That's world. true because when you know it's when you're 18, situation. when you're 18, there's a lot of things that you, are you mature, not what you think you they are. Well, and, and experience, right? Like you know, you 18, like, bro, I'm gonna go to this concert. There's gonna be so many milfs everywhere. Can't fuck, I can't wait to fuck. This I can't bitch. wait to fuck everybody yeah, in fuck that bitch. bitch. It's gonna be sweet. It's Miami. Yeah, yeah, All these exactly. bitches are gonna be off. And Come then you on. get there, and everyone's like, "Oh, what's up?" It's a dude from fucking Wexford. Okay, cool. What's up, dude? Yeah. Exactly. That's no one cares. That's you know all. what I mean? I mean yeah, that's, all that's, that's it. No, that's, that's it. That's all that happens. That's all that, you know. <laughs> you go to the hotel, you get drunk, you pass out, and go to the pool. And sometimes shit don't work out. So yeah, that's yeah. I mean, you deal with AR-15. You turn to a fucking last, last fucking action hero on a fucking. A fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. So let me. Well, that, that's another point with it, Corey. Though, right? It's like so. His friend bought him the gun. But I'm not right? some Kyle Rittenhouse fan. I'm just saying he I'm didn't not murder. Say, him. No, I'm not. I, he, maybe, he didn't murder. Like I'm not like, hey, Kyle murder. Rittenhouse, come to my house for some tea. Like I'm just like he didn't murder these people. Like these people were asking. Maybe for it in he some didn't. Way. Yeah, maybe he didn't murder him in cold blood. Maybe he did feel like he was being assaulted or whatever it may be. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sorry. but uh, was he trying to preserve life? <laughs> was he trying his to? Own life. Which yeah. he's legally allowed to do. Yeah, okay. In the right his own life. I just wish that life. we live in a country where more people like actually live by their values, especially like a quote unquote Christian nation or whatever. And was like, oh, I'm also I'm not just gonna protect my life. I would like to try to protect your life. And in doing that, I recognize that maybe me showing up and antagonizing it's just not the best move right now. Oh no, I guarantee you know? that this dude has. If some anyone had a dad that beat the life. fuck out of them, you know, sometimes you just gotta sit down and shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> like he's obviously he probably come from a. Like good old boy, they Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, for the, sure. Yeah, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to get at yeah. is that there is there's other parts of it that are unseen. The dude bought Not every parent buys their their kid or, or friend buys their friend a gun at 17. You know, yeah. and and like morally, that might be right or wrong. I'm just saying from a legal standpoint. I mean, we were around guns since we were young, but at yeah. the same time, there's there's legal and there's illegal. And yeah, like. If they were like, hey, we're convicting you of being an asshole, like, yeah, they could probably get a guilty conviction on it. But it's like they're going for murder, like premeditated murder. This yeah. is not going to so happen. So what, 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 what would you be happy seeing him get prosecuted with? Whatever he did that's illegal. Like, if I don't know the gun laws, but if he carried a gun across state lines and that's illegal, then he should get whatever charge that is and whatever the minor, whatever the minor, whatever the... What about like a reckless endangerment, something like that? No, because everyone out there should be charged with reckless endangerment then. Like, everyone out there was being reckless and endangering people. That is how it is. I got to piss soon. Like, if you're throwing... You can go piss. I got to yeah, get... Yeah. Like, if you're, <laughs> if you're throwing a Molotov cocktail, that's reckless endangerment and a whole lot of other things. And if you are walking around with a gun, that's probably reckless endangerment too. You know what I mean? I mean, that's true. So for me, like, with a lot of these sort of, uh, like, cases and shit, anytime where there's protests that go sour, like, 
I do agree. I think the pers- the most extreme people on <coughs> the either one, the side protesting or the anti protesters, the cunts whatever, on both sides. The cunts on both sides should yeah. probably get charged. Like if you're the first one to throw a Molotov cocktail, you're the first one to fuck up the whole cause for all of us, right? Because now we're gonna get reactions like this. So I agree, like I, a little bit, you know, that the person that's doing all that probably should face some charges too. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not against that. Yeah. But you know, I I do think though, unequivocally, to me, anyways, there is a difference between a building and a person. And you know what? You could burn oh, that tier sure. building to the house. For you sure. could fucking destroy the entire block. If it saves one person from dying, I kind of I'm more likely to err on the side of an American life. But that's me, you know. And you know, for some people, they're like, "No, nah, fuck that. You come touch my property, you gonna get a bullet." And that's fine. But you know, I don't know if that's necessarily healthy. <laughs> no, for sure. And if everyone was like that, it'd be a fucked up country. And if everyone was like the super peace loving, mm. like hippie, that it'd be a fucked up country too. Like, That's true. We need both to make it work. But it's just annoying to me how like both sides like already took a stance on this, where it's like they don't even there's like no nuance where it's like this kid is awesome, he's gonna get off, or this kid's a complete cunt, he should die in jail. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, it's like there's I, no there's no nuance. Like everything is so polarized. It's fifty fifty, and like that's why I don't think there's ever going to be a successful protest again, or at least for a very long in our lifetime, because it is so polarized. Like there's always going to be a counter protest now. Yeah, now if there if you're if you're going to protest for something that's quote unquote a left leaning issue, then the whole right's going to come out no matter what it and is. And vice versa, probably. Democrats. And so probably probably same like if, if uh, I don't know who's that fucking Jewish cunt? What's his name? The little guy where he's like that is completely ridiculous. Oh Ben Shapiro. Oh. Like if Ben Shapiro goes talk somewhere, like Antifa's gonna show up. Like it's just that's how, and then Proud Boys. Gonna yeah, show Yeah, but up. I mean, part of that, part of that is also like, I mean, he's got. It's not like Ben Shapiro is a completely neutral party. I mean, that would be like. No, he's definitely right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. It's like he's an established like personality at this point. You yeah. know what I mean? So that, that it, I don't know. It's not exactly <laughs> a fresh start if you throw him in, but. But, but I do the, agree that yeah, like it's it's tough right now. It's it's hard for people to like have any nuance. They're, but they're, protests aren't exactly the spot for nuanced conversation either. It, by the time you get to the to something that could be called a protest or a riot, once it gets to the point where it's considered a riot, that's because talks have already broken down. And I feel like it's because there's no like real leadership. Like if, like even like Malcolm X didn't like have he didn't want to riot started. Like all like the big civil mm-hmm. rights leaders in the sixties and like fifties and sixties, like there was like strong leadership there where it's like what are we gonna do? We're gonna sit in on this. Yeah, restaurant. but riot still happened. That's my thing. Well, it's like I, I see it, what he's saying. Like it was, it was more so an organized aggression thing. It was mm-hmm. more so, like you said, we're not going to the store. Mm-hmm. Automatically, the, the 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 sales drop. It's what it is. We're staying in the street. This is what we're doing. Or we're like, we're gonna do a walk across this bridge. And no matter what fucked up shit they do, they bring dogs, or whatever. Like we're not gonna fucking make ourselves look bad in this situation. Like yeah. like like Martin Luther King and Mark, Malcolm X and all those guys that had like they ran their shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Whereas like right now, there's like. Like when I was like, "Who's leader of BLM?" You're like, "I don't, like, I don't fucking know." Like, TikTok like, leaders. Yeah, yeah, it's like like there's not really, there's not really a strong leader. Well, also because BLM, BLM is. I, I just use that as an example. Yeah, but, no, yeah. but I mean, but, but even just a lot of them, like because we now things are so quick to trend, and because now like everybody is everybody, every corporation, politician, everyone is looking for the next trending thing. The second something gets momentum. There's other people that jump in immediately because you know what I mean. Like BLM, I feel like was is not a, it's a bit grassroots, but there's a lot of corporate interests and there's a of lot course. of the competing interests in it that jumped in because it's like, yeah. oh, this is the thing that's happening in the moment. Yep. We need to get behind this because if not, it's going to look bad. It makes fiscal sense for companies. Exactly. So it is. And and you know and that really just gets to grassroots though, man. That you know like there needs to be a grassroots actual like organization and movement of people that are. It's door to door, it's neighbor to neighbor, it's town to town, it's city to city. Not, oh, if I support this, then I'm BLM, I guess. Like for me, yeah, I didn't know what sure. BLM. I didn't know what BLM is when it first happened, bro. Shit, I, I didn't fucking know none of this shit. I wasn't political. I, I was like, oh, like Black Lives is that BLM? Like I first happened, I was like, I don't really like that name. It was, but just, a, it was just a name. It was just a name. I was like, that's kind of a weird name, yeah, but it was a badly picked name. I right? well, yeah, but I was like, well, who said that this was our thing now? Like, is this it? This is the moment. Like. I didn't know. No one told me. But I feel like a lot of people feel that way because it was kind of just a, not that it was forced upon us because the moment was forced upon us, but more so that it was like, it, it wasn't the most organic yeah, happening. I, I also think, I, I don't think there's ever going to be a fix to this shit either because I think it's like, it's, it's sparked by media. Like the way the media, like 
not not that George Ford should burn down the news station though. <laughs> yeah, but like not not that George Ford shouldn't have been covered. It definitely should have been covered. But the way it was covered, it was like you could see the psychological shit happening in the media where it's like they're trying to like rile people up and spark people up on both sides. Like Fox News was doing it just like CNN. Yeah, but that's also I mean that's their job, man. It's, and it's yeah, I mean come on, like that's conventional media too, though. Like. If you're gonna, if you're getting your news from cable news anymore, but a like, lot of people do. I know, yeah, yeah, that's true. But like a lot of people, like a lot of people watch CNN, like yes, bitch, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And like on the Fox News, they're like yes, bitch, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's like it's gonna happen. It's just and that just comes down to what we're saying before. There's no nuance, yeah. you know. It's so I mean, like in summary, um, Kyle Rittenhouse is a great, great man and everything. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck All right, shit. so <laughs> let, let's you, go dude. to Stokey. 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 Um, Stogiebird.com. Can you scroll down for me, please? My favorite Brazilian that has that's not a girl. With your sweet, sweet. All right, you, you, you scroll up. You With the sweet, up. supple fingers. All right, Stogiebird.com. What is Stogiebird? Stogiebird is a subscription service for cigars. You like cigars? Me too. You know what I don't like is going to the cigar shop and trying to pick out cigars. You want to be cool and pick out good ones, but what's a good one? This wrapper looks cool, but it's it might true. be full of shit. It's like you don't know. And you pick this something is... and the guy's looking at you like, really? You yeah, you're going to pick that. You want this number seven? Want? Yeah. yeah. You don't know what the, the fuck you're doing, buddy. <laughs> and everyone that's there, they always look like they're fucking professional cigar smokers. I know. They shit. have monocles and shit. It's yeah. bad. <laughs> well, I hate that experience. So now I use stogiebird.com. They curate the cigars that I want to smoke. They know what I like. They send it to me every month in a uh, reusable humidor that I do use. Like you want to travel, you want to take a couple of cigars, do a golf course or something. You can use the humidor. It keeps it's much less humidity. Nice it's, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of selections you can pick from as far as how many you want. Um, you can choose how often you get them. Like one month, two months, you know, whatever. You, it's very customizable to exactly what you want to do. It's very flexible, like your mom. It's very flexible, Holy like your mom. Shit. Yes, I didn't want to bring that up. But <clears throat> damn. Yeah, this bird is crazy. Right this now. is yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what's crazy is the owner of Stogie Bird. He gave Kyle Rittenhouse his gun. Is what I heard. Oh my that God. makes more sense now. That's, that's what I heard. That's We're not going to get sponsored, sponsored now. <laughs> no, that's, that's what I heard. He's a very good man. The guy who owns Stogie. <laughs> He's giving out AR-15s. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Okay. So, yeah. Go too. to stogiebird.com. S-T-O-G-I-E-B-I-R-D. You can say it like he ends there. Stogiebird.com. Go get your cigars. And look, if you do it, send me a DM of your uh, receipt that you showed you got it, and I'll send you some merch. When you get merch, I'll send you some merch. Happen, that. Baby. All right. Stokey Bird. The Corey Brennan back. Show panties. What? The Corey Brennan Show panties. Oh, yes. We talked about that, actually. We talked about that <laughs> the other night. We're, we're going to get some Stokey or, or some uh, Corey. It's going to say the Corey Brennan Show in the front mm-hmm. of the logo, and the back is just your obviously. face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's going to be a thong. It's going to be a thong. A Siberian. Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, it'll be my face. <laughs> and like the boy shorts one, it'll be like wider with my, it'll, like, it'll look like my face is like underneath like this. <laughs> That's classy. Just going for that dingleberry. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no classy girls listening to this, and I love you, you delicious pieces of garbage. All right, let's move on to Facebook Meta. Meta, Meta. meta. I can't wait. To Does anyone know meta. what the fuck this is? By the way, uh, I don't. I, from what I understand, it metaphorically, this guy. <laughs> I think it's just like a VR world. Yeah, it sounds like that. Basically, right? Yeah, you're, you're diving into a different world, yeah. new world. It's like if you want to just give up on Earth. Right. But you're not ready to make the commitment to prime Mars. Yeah. Then you just good. you just this a happy medium. Perfect. This happy this medium. Right yeah. reality. People who don't have a grasp on this reality are going to try a different reality. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, I might That's be. A, I might be cut out for it. Uh, this <laughs> might be perfect. Right up my alley, man. I can't wait for the first mass metaverse spree shooting. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Jesus. Not our virtual <laughs> school. <laughs> Our first Metaverse Parkland. Jesus. <laughs> oh, Meta Sandy Hook. The first five years is going to be like, oh Shit. my God, we're going to build a whole new society. Oh, that's fucked. Six years in. Jeez. That is man. so fucked. That's yeah. Because that's who this is who's going to attract. Kyle Meta House. Like, the Metaverse is not going to attract people doing well. <laughs> they're in a great, they're in their Metaverse already. <laughs> this is going to attract miscreants and Very fucking. True. People who got shit together. Yeah, the fucking Shit. depths of society is what it's going to. So I just want my virtual stake. Here, I, okay, Brian got a commercial, but I'm going to watch this commercial. 
Ryan or Brian? Ooh. I believe the metaverse is the next chapter for the internet. I believe the metaverse the next is the for our next company. chapter. <laughs> So know, I've been thinking a lot about, about what this means this for our company and who we are <laughs> as we embark on this journey. We're a company I do not know that what to focuses do with my hands. on technology. Why was he in the kitchen, but now he's stepping down well, the stairs? Well, most other tech he's companies focus on how oh. people interact uh, with technology. <laughs> we focus portals. on building technology so people can interact with each other. Ooh. One of the reasons I started Facebook was that at Pause the time quick, you could use the internet to find almost anything. You know what a great way for people to interact with each other is? <laughs> just to interact with each other. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> you know, just how people interact with each other? Being plugged into a laptop at the base just of their from skull. behind the computer and go talk to someone. Yeah. <laughs> you need to not interact with each other so we can get you to interact with each other first. All right, let's keep going. That's their yeah. cute. No, actually, it works. It's like they isolate you so far that then it's like, oh, then you just come to the Metaverse. Everything's fine. Everything's yeah, exactly. perfect. There's NPCs. Go ahead. Information, news, movies, music, shopping, what everything you that you can need. The thing that matters most of all. I am from Glornex Evan. Today, we are seen as a social media company. But in our DNA, we are a company that builds technology to connect people. And the metaverse yeah, right. is the next frontier. Just like social networking was. So ignore these cryptic signs started. on the back of my yeah, yeah. Facebook was born. Right now they're subliminally, time subliminally putting us like College chop campus, off our dicks. Web. It was what we could build at the time to put trans. people back into our experience of technology. But connecting people was JB always will be much woman of the year. From way earlier on, I remember sitting in middle school classes, sketching in my notebooks, Ideas that I wanted to code when I got Pause. home. And even though I didn't have... <laughs> I remember as a young robot oiling my gears <laughs> <laughs> and sketching in my logs <laughs> when I only knew beep binary. Boop, beep, beep. Okay, here's how I know this is bullshit because this has been going on for a minute and 19 seconds and I still have no idea what the fuck this is. I still don't know what a meta- yeah, yeah, I still don't know what a metaverse is. It's just a skill or technology that uh, it's the new frontier Yeah, and it's the next step in the new chapter. Brian, fast forward a little bit. Let's just see, like, is there... No, no, that's what I want. I just want to know. It's the Emancipation Proclamation of the fucking New World, man. <laughs> yeah, the the is. <laughs> it was always clear that the dream it's, it, was the to present emancipation with the Emancipation Proclamation care for about. humans. It's going to bring Isn't about robots. Isn't that the ultimate promise of technology? To be together yeah, like with so anyone, far, it could be a coffee shop. To be able to it teleport <laughs> anywhere and to create and experience anything. If you're one of those restaurants where you all cook together in, 2021, in front of the... He's saying a whole lot of devices are still designed nothing. around apps, his, not people. Look at his eyes. His the eyes are real. The experiences we're allowed to build and use are more tightly controlled than ever. His and lips are real. They don't even that Adam's apple like isn't real. That's just white lips. That's how y'all... This is <laughs> not the way that we are meant <laughs> that white to lips. use technology. <laughs> the metaverse you know his, gives us the like, You ever been on a Disney ride where it goes in a circle and it goes through time? But it's going to take all of us, creators, developers, companies of all sizes, together, we can find the people at the center of our technology and deliver an experience where we are present with each other. Oh, shit. Together, we can create a more open <laughs> platform with I'm more kidding, ways I'm to discover Ridiculous. experiences and more interoperability between them. And together, the fuck we can saying? unlock a massively bigger <laughs> massive Look at his hands. He doesn't know what to do with them. It's this big. I know. He's, Ricky, he's, he's Ricky Bobby. Massive. He's Ricky Bobby Every right chapter now. means new voices and new ideas. And, and this is a new yes, chapter. there will be challenges and risks and disruption of walk establishing. Walk She's walking the green screen. But there will the also fuck, be opportunities and on? benefits that we can't even imagine yet. For connection, we can't imagine for because we creation, don't know what it learning, is. We can't joy. imagine it. <laughs> we'll all need to work together from the beginning oh, to, to bring the oh, best possible like any, like, of this, 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 this is like, fucking the ridiculous, future where with just a pair of glasses, us to adopt so they're glasses. a new company <laughs> brand. <laughs> that's the, that's the highlight words I heard. Glasses. <laughs> okay, fuck this. Let's just Google it. Jesus Christ. Good God. Okay, that's because meta isn't... No, no. This is interesting meta, not the metaverse. That's why. Meta is just... The new name for Facebook. Okay. The company Facebook. Oh, so it's not Facebook no more. Nope. No. Nope. It's Meta. What is meta. that? Ha- what does that happen? I hate Meta. <laughs> I hate it. Well, I hate, I, I they own know. a lot of shit. So. Okay. What is the metaverse, and do I have to care? <laughs> That's does, a good article. Does Corey Brennan have to care? Put that in the no. Google. <laughs> no. Um. It looks like I don't have to care. Roblox? It doesn't Epic. necessarily exist. It's oh, something to do with NFTs. I'm fucked. I still don't know that. People have explained NFTs to me 12 times. Yeah. I have no idea. I what still the fuck don't know what the fuck it is. Me neither. 
Okay, Ryan, don't don't even try. Just non-fungible tokens. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> Can I go back to 2008? Jesus Christ, I was born way too late. Yo, if I could go back to 2008, I would oh, no. buy all the NFTs. Oh, yeah. oh fuck yeah! If I go back to 2008 and just buy like five dollars in Bitcoin, <laughs> I wouldn't even care. I'd be all, I'd be good. I, I wish I was born like 1975, because then in the 90s I would have been like in my late teens, early 20s. That seems like a fun time. Yeah, yeah, and with a lot of coke lucky. being done, a lot of good movies, a lot of good shit. Seinfeld, I could have watched Seinfeld as it was coming oh, out. You know what I mean? Hey, that's yeah. a great show. That's a dream right there. It's a great fucking show, man. You can better prepare for 2012. I don't give a fuck what NFTs are. They're pictures that you <laughs> Thank buy. Thank you, Ryan. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I know it has something to do with Bitcoin. I, I don't. I'm not made for this world. I don't give. A I'm fuck. not made for this world. I'm five years away from being completely irrelevant. It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's, it's it. I'm done. I'm fucking. I'm gonna buy a dumb. house in an island in the Bahamas someday, hopefully. No, that's true, bro. Not an island, island. I'm an <laughs> island boy. No, nah, bro. Once they start paying for like, once you can go to Seven Eleven and like give it a Bitcoin for a candy bar or some shit, I'm gonna all know I'm fucked. Like I don't know. There's I a know guy. This there's a guy came over. in the bar. He goes, "Do you take Bitcoin? Are you serious? Yeah. Are you fucking?" And serious? And I said, "Well, no. This is Earth. <laughs> so no." <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't take Bitcoin. <laughs> Pack up your laptop and get the fuck out of here. Get out of yeah. here, tech bro. Yeah. Go back to San Francisco. <laughs> I literally said no, but we take pesos. <laughs> I was like, they're like, get the fuck out of here. Jeez Louise. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this bitch up. Um, dude, Trey, thanks for coming on, dude. Oh, dude, thank you. It. It's been, it's it's been awesome. real fun. It's been Fucking real fun. Awesome. Do you have like anything that you want people to find you on? Like. No, I don't want anyone to find me. At anything, all. His ever. name's Ian Trey. <laughs> don't find me. Yeah, that's not my name at all. It's Wink Wink. It's um, you can follow me at co- um, Twitter. Uh, unless you got a friend with um, large memories, and then she could add me on Snapchat. All right, it's Trey Flip 180, thanks. Trey Flip 180? Thank you. Snapchat. Trey Flip okay. 180. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter at I am Corey Brennan. Um, Instagram and Facebook is at Corey Brennan Comedy. Um, guys, make sure to like and share. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Hit the red notification button. All that fucking dumb horse shit. Uh, and tell your friends about this shit. Tell your friends. Let them know. We literally solved Ooh. racism today. Racism is done. It's over. It's, it's like Utah. Over. It's like Utah now. It's done. over. <laughs> we thought it was done when Obama became president, but we that were wrong. Was it's now done now. We did it here at you Big Sexy first. Studios on the Corey Brennan show. Good job, sir. Good, congrats. congrats. I think awesome, we, yeah, man. you know what? It's great. Yeah, we, we fucking <laughs> solved it. The whole thing. We, we solved, solved it. <laughs> and do you know, I can't wait to go outside. It's going to be beautiful. And here's how we know that that was really real because those were white man handshakes. <laughs> they weren't dabs. <laughs> that makes it official. <laughs> go on, so, <soul>, brother. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you next week. And of course, stay black.